In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a great spacing concept. This is something that you can use to beat every defense of the game. One of the quick tips I want to have, or a quick qualifiers I want to tell you, is you actually don't need Hot Route Master. If you don't want to have Hot Route Master, you can. Um, you could also have Backfill Master. It can make it a little bit more effective, but kind of a fun little play break of today. Talking about a concept that you could run without needing Hot Route Master or being able to beat every coverage of the game. Okay guys, my name is Cody. I want to welcome you to the channel today and uh, we're going to be taking a look at a great route combination. We're going to show it first in zone drops. It's really my favorite play when my opponent is using 30 yard clouds um, to be able to beat the defense and it's also um, really good against any defense in the game and like I said, it's all basically hot routes. You can um, if you want to uh, run PA counter go out of this out of the trip side in of the Detroit playbook but you could do this out of any play in trip side in you could do this out of any formation this is a concept you know you know one of the things that I want to quickly point out is you know every now and then when you talk to a really good Madden player they will summarize a ton of resources into one or two statements and so the two statements I want to talk to you about today is the first one is um, offenses reads and defense is adjustments right defense is all about making adjustments to what the offense is doing offense is all about being able to make the progression reads not missing reads hitting the right player every single time and then secondly Madden is all about high lows route combinations that create high low reads so that it's easy to read the defense beat zone coverage and man coverage and we're going to teach you how to do that in this video now if you're looking to take your Madden game to the next level, I'd really encourage you to consider joining my Patreon page. Uh, my Patreon page is only $10 to sign up. And over there, I have a full ebook on the trip side in formation. I actually have over 28 offensive and defensive ebooks. They all have a ton of updates to them as well. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the description. Guarantee that you'll get better uh, just from day one of being over at the membership. Okay, so let's take a look today at this concept so relatively simple route combo honestly um, but really one of my favorite plays in the game so what we're gonna do here is we are going to put the triangle receiver on a hitch we're going to put the square receiver on a smoke screen we're gonna take the circle receiver and put him on a slant and then really important we're gonna put our tight end on a smart routed in route if it is first and like it's like seven yards or more um, if not, then my recommendation is if you do have a tight end apprentice, put him on a post. But I personally really like the smart routed in. And then lastly, with the running back, you can leave him in to block. If you have hot run master, you can put him on a uh, hitch. Or not a hitch, I'm sorry, a ghost. Or if you don't have hot run master, put him on an out route and he'll beat man to man. This right here is one of my favorite plays because it's literally almost impossible to not have someone open every single time. So the sample ball here, this is cover four. You're gonna see my hitch on the left is gonna be wide open. That's gonna force them to absolutely have to put a vertical hook defender over on that side. Um, and so I'll show you what that looks like. So we're gonna go down to Mike Blitz three. I'm gonna put two vert hook defenders out here. And what you'll see with this is now my smoke screen and my, now I have a high low between my tight end and my smoke screen. So you see here on the left, if you look closely, you'll see my tight end is gonna run open through that just a little bit early, but you'll notice that that hitch route, and what I love about the hitch route, especially against the cover three zone, is the hitch route will basically hold all of the uh, zones into the middle of the field. So you see here, this curl flat will suck inside, and I'll be able to wait on this in route all the way to the sideline and throw a possession catch right there. Obviously, if you don't want to wait, one of the other little pro tips that I have for you today is if you don't want to use a smoke screen because you don't like the spacing, maybe you're on the wide side of the field, for example, um, and you can run this on either hash mark, which is really cool. Um, but anyways, we're going to zig this outside receiver, and you'll see it's going to get him more to the flat. He's going to get a little bit more outside. And then as you see here, I've got my running back on his route. So you'll see now the zig is gonna get way out there. So now there's a lot of space to throw this horizontal passing concept. And we're gonna be able to take what the defense gives us. Now, if you really want to force your opponent to have to play some type of cover two or some type of hard flap, you can go ahead and put this, put this player on the left on an out. And what you'll see is if that curl flat does not, and you see there, he's able to get out there. But 
if they're not on a hard flat type of type of type of deal or they're getting press animations for example that's going to be something that you can take advantage of in a situation um, you know where they're doing something let me give you a quick example of something you might get they'll man this guy up maybe they'll drop you know the linebacker into the curl flat um, you know these are just an example of some of the adjustments you might see and now because there's no hard flat defender from the slot I can throw that quick out really really easily okay I personally like to stick with the smoke or the zig and um, anyways back to the concept so now you'll see right here I showed you I could throw my zig for about 10 yards notice that this hitch is wide open as well um, if they're not vert hooking they have to vert hook it's a very specific adjustment that they have to make so if they're gonna cover three defense maybe they give you something like this um, you know now they're gonna be able to stop your route to um, Scotty Miller but as you see right here my, now my zig is wide open to the sideline and I can get an easy five to seven yards and that's all we're really trying to do with this concept is just kind of put them in a position you know where they have to adjust now another thing that's really cool about this is the last piece of this or the the, the other read on this which is this right side if they're not playing um, you know I can throw see how he's gonna pull that purple out and now I can hit my slant kind of coming underneath that if he's on that route and I talked about this in a previous video but one of the other things that you can do is if you have your running back and you put him on a, um, if you put your running back on a hitch or not a hitch a ghost on why I keep calling it a hitch you'll see here against the cover three defense it'll hold those zones in on this side too and we can attack the sidelines What's really good about attacking the sidelines in Madden is it's hard for the opponent to be able to user those. So when you attack over the middle, oftentimes the user is gonna be in the middle of the field. And so this allows us a way to attack the sidelines just by using these hitch routes. Um, and then let me show you one other thing with the zone drops and then we'll get out of the zone drop world in just a second. So one of the other things that I absolutely love about how this can attack zone drops is if they're playing a standard traditional zone drop, you'll see this tight end in route really can do a really good job getting open on the sideline or it creates at least I'm sorry a little bit more of a high low read um, between the zig and the tight end route okay if I didn't have the zig it would be a little bit more open than it, than it is um, but you know this allows us to really stretch the field um, you know in, in every way and again if you want to use this running back out route like I said now you're stretching the flats on both sides of the field one of the things that's really um, this play is actually really good against is you have probably three at least three reads against man to man this running back out route um, especially if you have a good running back he will almost always be able to beat man to man as you can see um, and then the tight end dig the smart reddit end is actually a better man beating route than the tight end post in my opinion you'll see here this tight end uh, smart reddit in route um, is just really good you're just going to aggressive catch that when he cuts inside and as you can see you're going to be able to beat man to man and then the last one is not always as good, um, especially if they're in a man line, you know, heavy press style defense. But this uh, this slant, you'll see here, you can kind of aggressive catch that if you ever get in trouble, and you can make that play against man to man coverage. Last thing I want to do is walk you through one more defense today, and that is a double mabled or double flatted, if you will, uh, cover two defense, which I think is the best way to defend this. I'll show you what this looks like. So I'm gonna to go to play Tampa 2 here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna shade down. We're gonna put the corners on clouds. We're gonna put this outside guy on a hard flat. Now, we don't have a double flat to both sides of the field. We need this vertical hook to stop the slant, okay? So just so that you are aware, this cloud, we can actually hit the running back on this very easily. This is the user, of course. But I just want you to see this left side of the field. And you'll see it does a decent job. And here we go, hitch covered, flat covered, and then that's covered, as you can see. So that's just something that you need to be aware of. But again, what I want to really urge you to think about here with this is, let's say they are in a cover two defense, something like this, if you will. Now, you have the whole middle of the field, and over here on the right side, your concept is going to be fairly effective as well. So you could do something like this, and now there's no hard flat over here, so I could just spin up field, break a tackle, that's a terrible user, but I could easily get up field with my running back. And then the last thing I want to show you about this, because they are basically doing this, if you will, what you'll see 
is, and you can feel free to tight end post if you want. Um, it's just, in my opinion, if they start doing what I just showed you a lot, something that might be f uh, effective is instead of doing a hitch zig, do a flat to Miller and a dig to, or a small little in route to Evans. Um, that just gives you another read coming over the middle of the field. And then you have your out route to Bernard. And now what you'll see with this is a slant concept um, can be very good. I say right in that little window. And then of course you have your dig coming back over the middle. So their user is gonna get kind of stuck in the middle of the field because you have so many things come over the middle of the field and it makes it hard to be able to defend everything. I wanna thank you for watching today's video and I just wanna quickly point out to you that if you've not picked up our Patreon membership, it has all of my eBooks in it. I think it really helped you become a better Venom player. It's helped a lot of people this year. If you want to check that out, the link is down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.